hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we want to continue our lesson on binary operations in this video we are going to talk about the properties of binary operations under the properties of binary operations we are going to talk about the commutative property the associative property the distributive property and the closure property now without wasting much time let's start off with the commutative property so for the commutative property, a binary operation star defined on a set of real numbers R is said to be commutative if A star B is equal to B star A where A and B are all members of the set R. Now we have a question here. Given that A star B is equal to 2A plus AB, we are going to evaluate i 2 star negative 3 and then i i negative 3 star 2 so let's solve this problem starting from i 2 star negative 3 now we are going to use this rule the rule for the binary operation a star b so our a is going to be 2 and then our b is going to be negative 3 so we are going to substitute 2 and negative 3 in place of a and b in this binary operation. So we have 2 star negative 3 equals 2 times 2 plus 2 times negative 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So 4 plus negative 6 is negative 2. Now let's solve for i i. That is negative 3 star 2. We are going to apply the same rule 2a plus ab to this binary operation. So our a is negative 3 and then this time our b is 2. So we have 2 times negative 3 plus negative 3 times 2. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. So negative 6 minus 6 is negative 12. So negative 3 star 2 is negative 12 and then 2 star negative 3 is negative 2. Now we said earlier that for a binary operation to be commutative then a star b should be equal to b star a notice here that 2 star negative 3 is negative 2 and then negative 3 star 2 is negative 12. so since 2 star negative 3 is not equal to negative 3 star 2 it follows that the binary operation star is not commutative. So that was a very simple one. So far as 2 star negative 3 is not equal to negative 3 star 2, it follows that the binary operation star is not commutative. Now let's move on to the next property, the associative property. So for the associative property, we say that a binary operation star defined on a closed set R is said to be associative if A star B in a bracket star C is equal to A star into bracket B star C, where A, B and C are all members of the set R. Here also we have a question we want to validate whether 2 star 3 in a bracket star 4 is equal to 2 star into bracket 3 star 4. So we are going to evaluate the two and then compare. If they are the same, we conclude that the binary operation star is associative. If they are not the same, then the binary operation star is not associative. So let's start off with I. 2 star 3 in the bracket star 4. So first of all, 
we are going to use the binary operation to combine 2 and 3. Afterwards, we are going to combine the results of 2 and 3 and then 4. So we are going to use A star B. So our A is 2, our B is 3. So that's going to be 2 times 2 plus 2 times 3. All star 4. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. Four plus six is ten. So here we have ten star four. So you are going to apply the same rule a star b equals two a plus a b to solve to solve a star four. So this time a is ten, b is four. So we have two times ten plus ten times four. Two times ten is twenty. 10 times 4 is 40. So we have 20 plus 40, which is 60. So we have 2 star 3 in the bracket star 4 to be equal to 60. Now let's solve for ii. So for ii, that is 2 star 3 star 4 in the bracket so for that one also we are going to solve what's in the bracket first so we have two star in a bracket this time our a is three our b is four so using this rule we have two times a which is three plus a which is three times four so that's going to be two star 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. Six plus 12 is 18. So this time we have 2 star 18. So we are going to use the same rule to solve that. So A is 2, B becomes 18. So that is 2 times 2 plus 2 times 18. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 18 is 36. So 4 plus 36 is 40. So 2 star into bracket 3 star 4 is equal to 40. Now, because the two values or the two numbers are not the same, we say that since 2 star 3 in the bracket star 4 is not equal to 2 star 3 star 4 in a bracket, then the binary operation star is not associative so now let's move on to the distributive property so for the distributive property we are saying that if star and delta are two binary operations both defined on the closed set r consisting of real numbers then star is distributive over delta if a star into bracket b delta c is equal to into bracket a star b delta into bracket a star c where a b and c are all members of the set r so when we talk about the distributive property here we have two binary operations star and delta so we are going to check whether a star into bracket b delta c is equal to into bracket a star b delta into bracket a star c now if the left hand side is equal to the right hand side we say that star is distributive over delta. So let's do that by solving this question. Given that a star b is equal to 2a plus ab and x delta y is equal to x plus y minus xy, where a, b, x, and y 
are all members of the set R. We are going to evaluate 2 star into brackets 3 delta 5 and then ii 2 star 3 in the bracket delta 2 star 5. So let's start off with i. So we are going to combine what's in the bracket first. That is 3 delta 5. So this is equal to 2 star into brackets. We are going to apply x delta y to this binary operation. So x is 3, y is 5. So we have 3 plus 5 minus 3 times 5. Three plus five is eight. Three times five is fifteen. Eight minus fifteen is negative seven. So now we have two star negative seven. So we are going to use the operation star to combine two and negative seven. So using this, we have two times a. Now our a is 2, our b is negative 7. So 2 times 2 plus 2 times negative 7. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. And then 4 minus 14 is equal to negative 10. So 2 star into bracket 3 delta 5 is equal to negative 10. Now let's solve for ii. Here we have 2 star 3 delta 2 star 5. So we are going to apply the binary operation star on 2 and 3. So using this rule, 2 times 2 now our a is 2 and then our b is 3. So 2 times 2 plus 2 times 3, all in a bracket, delta. Here our a is 2, our b is 5. So we have 2 times 2 plus 2 times 5. So 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 5 is 10. 4 plus 6 is 10, so we have 10 delta, 4 plus 10 is 14. Now we have 10 delta 14, so we are going to apply the binary operation delta on 10 and then 14, so we are going to use this. So x is 10, y is 14, so we have 10 plus 14 minus 10 times 14. 10 plus 14 is 24. 24 minus 140 is negative 116. So we have 2 star into bracket 3 delta 5 to be negative 10. And then 2 star 3 delta 2 star 5 as negative 116. So since 2 star into bracket 3 delta 5 is not equal to 2 star 3 delta 2 star 5. It follows that star is not distributive. Over delta. So lastly, let's talk about the closure property. Now we are saying that a set R is said to be closed with respect to a binary operation star if for any two elements A and B which are members of the set R, A star B produces another element which belongs to the set R. So for instance, let's say we have set T which contains elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then we have the binary operation 
a star b equals 2a plus ab now what this property is saying that if we take two elements from the set t now if you combine the two elements using a binary operation star and we get a third element which belongs to the set t then it means that the set is closed under the binary operation however if the third value is not found in the set or is not a member of the set t it means that the set t is not closed under the binary operation star so let's evaluate 2 star 4 so using this rule 2 star 4 is going to be 2 times 2 a is 2 and then b is 4 plus 2 times 4 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 4 is 8 4 plus 8 is 12 so we have 2 star 4 to be 12 now since 12 is not a member of set t it follows that the set t is not closed so set t is not closed under the binary operation under the binary operation star so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video do well to subscribe like and share the video to your friends bye bye